All right, let's do this. Um, just going to go through a couple of things that we did uh, in class today. And for those of you who have been away, let's look at, uh, you know what, I'm just going to open a previous file. Say open scene, open, where is it? Somewhere around, okay, my eyes aren't working. Recent files, here we go. Okay, I think I opened this one here. All right, cool. All right, so let's check this out. Okay, I have my move uh, controller here. And I'm going to go to Stacked Panels, Layout 2 Pane Stacked, and then, oh, nice, it worked for me, sweetly. All right, I'm noticing some dips here. And again, for you guys, look, I'm pointing my mouse here to some dips. Okay, I'll explain what that is. Okay, so watch here. I'm just going to slide over at the front at the start. So 1, 2, 3 comes down from 9. Oh, look at that. So notice here. So frame 9 window around here. Watch here as from 9 the 13 there is a dip okay so that happened because in my opinion at this point I went from stepped to spline so sometimes this, these overshoots happen okay so how do we fix that a couple things we can do okay so I'm just gonna come in here and just go to translate wide make your life simple here so notice that's happening right so if I select this whole spline and notice look at that down here even look at that this is when you let Maya do the conversions for you, okay? So we want to we want to address this quickly. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, just as a failsafe, you guys are welcome to do this. Go back to stepped, bring it back to automatic, and sometimes that actually <laughs> works, okay? So look at that. And in here, um, it did clean it out. Okay, so that kind of works. So I'm just going to pretend that it didn't help. Okay, so we'll do a couple of really simple things right off the bat. So notice again, the message is this. My character, which is a flower sack, is dipping from here to there. Okay, so from nine, and if I press option period, watch, one frame at a time, boom, and one. Okay, so look at that, it's, it's going through, as opposed to comma and period where it goes, uh, you cycle through um, keyframes. Here, if I hold option period, it just goes boom, boom, like that. Okay, see? You're going through all the keys, all the positions here. So it's kind of the in-betweens. You're seeing that. Okay, so what I want to do is break this relationship. So I want to select this key at 13. And here's the magic word, break. And I want to free it. Okay, so cool. Watch this. Free tangent. So all you got to do is remember break and free. Middle scroll. Press, press W, of course. Or is it left? Yeah, look at that. Right there, I cleaned it out. So at any time... You guys see some slippage. Always go into your graph editor to control it. Okay, so I'll review that one more time here. So I'm going to come in here. Look at that. Okay, boom. We know from a bouncing ball that these are too soft, right? We not we want harder impact. So we'll do this again. We will free, and then we will break, right? So I'm going to come over here, select this one, middle scroll. And I want that nice sharp effect. Again, I'll free it, break it, and I'll just take, again, my timing is off here, okay? My keys, a little gradual, uh, they're not time perfect. Look again here, look at this. So at the end, here, at the dip, it should go below ground, right? So let's just see if we can find that for a second, because I fixed the other ones. So if I come over here, and boom, boom, and look, 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 see here? How it's going, look at this, it's going down and then up. So if I don't want that to happen, which is in a sense an overshoot, watch again. So all you got to do is break and free. So grab this one, middle scroll, boom, straight through here. At this point, and again, there's no tweaking. I haven't, I'm just showing you guys some technical issues here, okay? Um, this is, we haven't reached the polish stage yet. So again, it should go boom, whatever, I haven't done anything. So again, it stays. So some crazy stuff going on here. There are other issues, like these keys are moving back and forth. So I have to fix that as well. So for now, the, again, very simple. Very simply, we, we watch the overshoots where it dipped down and over. The next thing I want to bring to your attention, and I'll keep this really short. It's already been four minutes. At the start here, notice that my pose, if I hold option period, it's already getting into it, okay? So there's no hold. I didn't hold this frame one position. So to do that, what I want to do, this is very important, please remember this. I'm going to go to all, highlight all these uh, controllers, okay? Select it here, right click, copy, go over by three frames, okay? Right click and paste, boom. So what happens from frame one, if I hold option period, there should be no change. <laughs> and some, oh yeah, there is no change. What am I saying? Yeah. 
Okay, so there is no change. So from here to here, it should have worked actually. Is there some movement? Why is there movement? What Kesky spas here? Okay, so there's some clearly some overshoots going on here. So I need to zoom in here, and I can I can hear Alex Williams saying this to me. Fix all this, flatten it out. Boom, it's done. These guys here, man, I'm in rough shape here. Um, I'm gonna come in here and see what's going on. So that's pretty straight. X good. Come down to Y. It's good. Here, no overshooting. Okay, there. It's starting here. See, we're seeing some changes in here. So we're not, you know, these have to be perfectly aligned. Unfortunately, see. If I zoom in a bit, you can see it's above the line, right? So that's not that that extreme. Okay, so you're okay. So if I go to all again and press F, okay, I'm going to click out for a second. There should be no changes between here and here. See, that's nice. But there's some other ones that I haven't controlled here. Okay, we don't want to control that. I want to come in here and see what's going on from one okay so that's not bad okay so I'm gonna go to option period there should be no movement if I copied over well there is another way of doing this okay so I'm just gonna right click here and delete okay so I'm just gonna come in here select this and middle drag it to number four press s so sweet okay guys that's the really technically that's a better way of doing it so again I'm gonna command Z one more time and here's another method to teach you guys and I hope I'm not confusing you okay I'm in the all mode doesn't matter right now oops I'm gonna to go to frame 4 and delete this key see ya it's gone so again it's gonna be in, interpolating these keys so from 1 you just middle scroll button middle scroll all the way to 4 press S so now look back and forth nothing happening this is really technically the better way Whoa, look at that some of this stuff is stepped so no worries so I will select all this go to okay change it from uh, step to spline okay uh, this has been good I hope uh, these little tweaks help uh, I'll say this for the next lesson we'll get into situations in here um, I'm just going to scrub down. So notice that I haven't worked on this animation at all here. All I've done is I've helped you guys just a bit of anticipation here back. And again, I've noticed that there is some slippage here. Well, there's no slippage now. It's kind of fixed, but there's, that's okay. And what I'm getting at is here. When you do land, guys, you, you will realize that if I just zoom in here, I haven't animated the ears yet, as you call these, the feet, right? So look, it goes up. Nothing happens, comes down. So whatever you do, do not animate the ears at the same time that the sack, the flower sack lands. Okay, so we got to like think if I'm at 25, this lands. Maybe at 28 or in between here, I have my um, maybe two frames over. I'll have the ears come down or something. So my timing is a bit off, but I rather do that. I rather bring these guys down two frames later. Okay, so 25, 27, I can come in here and uh, or maybe 20, you know just add some keys in between here and do those overlaps okay so remember that okay we're almost nine minutes bellying out thank you guys hope uh, this made sense to you okay take care